both Bradford and Dewsbury. They will compete for the Jeff Grayson Memorial Trophy. On the clock, real lively opening as Jordan Lilly cuts through a gap and Jordan Lilly has England on the outside and Bradford will open the scoring and this time Brad England will not be denied his first try. Danny Bruff to add on the extra two, which he does, and it's Bradford Bulls six. But the forwards, the back five are taking plenty of carries and obviously the forwards are doing the work as well and now they're in a, a good pot, good to learn it and everyone needs to, to get on top of it really. Danny Bruff has got that one between the black scrub cap there is wrapped up. Here we go, Dewsbury once again catching Bradford off around the rook and uh, we might see a little bit more of that a little bit later on when Sam Day comes on but Reese Butterworth, former Huddersfield giant, Bradford Bulls Academy player. Sykes and Finn Lincoln, here goes Walter back on the inside, gets past Enzongu and the referee Scott Michalowska says well, number one, Butterworth to Morris, Morris has a tilt, his run is halted, the two metres out, they can smell, they can see the try line, it goes to Anakin, Anakin's over the line, but the referee to the post, Danny Bruff, crossfield kick, looking for Foggy Johnston, that one's going into aerospace and Foggy Johnston palms it back and it's a try to Ross Oaks in the, the Bradford Bulls. Yes, like I said, it was a great finish, but we can see now uh, Lee Greenwood is making the changes, bringing Sam Day on, and as we know, Mickey. Made stand side, lovely flick behind for Pickersgill, and Brandon Pickersgill's caught high there. I think they're working excellent out uh, together. Danny Bruff will have his fourth at Lily. Bruff. Oh, it's been intercepted and it's been picked off here. Has Garrett got the legs? In fact, it's not Garrett, I beg your pardon, it's Aaron Hall. Aaron Hall, well, he's gone 40 metres there. And Hall, a quick play of the ball. What can Dewsbury do here? Can they capitalise on that error? Two of the homegrown players for the Bulls as Liam Fane once again looks for Gabriel. Pickers goal comes across. Gabriel takes it. Oh, has he got magnets in the palm of his hands? That ball was magnetised to his hands there. And Andy Gabriel, two tries against. Roll this gap to just a... A 10 point gap here, yes he can. And on the Betfred Championship, the seventh game from the round three, the concluding game, Adam Ryder, he really had to put his body on the line, a fantastic defensive stop. As here we see D Foggy Johnston, he's broken clear, he's still going, he's D Foggy Johnston, and D Foggy Johnston's got Joe Brown outside him, and Joe Brown is heading towards the corner, it's a sensational try, goodbye, as Joe Brown is going to cap off. Obviously we could see on the replay, but five defenders uh, to get to a position to the halfway line, so it were outstanding work by uh, fully fit next week for the trip to Whitehaven as uh, that has been charged down referee yet to give a signal as it goes towards Murphy Murphy's into space Murphy has Bruff on the inside and Danny Bruff oh magical from Danny Bruff in his 500th career of 38 and this will be the final act of the first half Danny Bruff goes out to six from six and at Harbury in 2020 before a permanent deal as a good offload out of the tackle there we'll see Sykes to Finn to top top sorry to Walton Walton was caught high there and Dewsbury half man he's rolled over right on top of the Bradford line Finn now to Sykes good linking qualities to Martin they're in at the corner what a spectacular diving at the corner from Andy Gabriel and just what Lee Greenwood and the Dewsbury Rams would have wanted after half time, that 28 points to from the, from the uh, Bradford try line, and once again they'll be looking to try and put points on the board like they did with the try by Gabriel. Garrett quick play of the ball, Dane at dummy half, looks for support, out the back door to Oaks. Will Oaks is over the Bradford line, can he ground the ball? There's a lot of white sudden. The scoreboard and the clock will just slowly etch there into the minds of the, the Dewsbury players, but look at this. I don't think from Joe Martin. Sykes to Oaks now. Oaks can't get past Skur and Rooks. Oh, look at that. That's ferocious defence there. Good play there from Willow. And on that occasion, as it goes now today, Aaron Hall puts a big fend in Fleming. Good inside support from Walton. Walton keeps the ball alive. Hot potato stuff here from the Rams as Sykes finds Knowles. Knowles is going to be brought down there by Rooks and Lilly and Dewsbury Rams now they are 10 metres out from that Bradford some pressure off the forwards like 
in the first half like could you like the Brapper players did. Here goes Paul Sykes, Brown and Evans. It's Evans. 20 minutes to go in this one. If Jewsbrick can get a third try, then uh, the cat is well and truly chasing those pigeons. Here we go. Try line. Crossley to Danny Brough. Pulls the trigger. That's between the posts. And Danny Brough. They're looking to control things at the Rook. The former Fev Lions and Stanley Rangers player as Jewsbury will go over in at the corner. It's a great try there from Adam Ryder. He has taken D Foggy Johnston and Adam Rook's last tackle, says Scott Michalowskis. Danny Brough kicks towards Joe Brown. Joe Brown hunts the ball, takes the ball. And Joe Brown, like a heat seeking missile. For the Bulls in Sheffield, he's got two. This evening, and Danny Brough goes out to seven.